guys, it's your girl Erica J coming to you with another video. Uh, this is my nine month update. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on my plus size tummy tuck journey. Um, I will tell everybody that's joining in right now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, please go back, watch my other videos. It has lots and lots and lots of information. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So. Um, let's get into it. We're going to talk about my last video. I ended it telling you guys that I was going to be on some self-care, just doing me, focus on myself, and um, that's still the goal, that's still the plan. However, uh, coronavirus has definitely put a damper on my parade. Um, you know, the last video was at 208, 209, and I've gained um, about 8 or 9 pounds since then. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have put on some weight. But um, I'm definitely trying to lose these extra pounds. Um, I'm going to try to get down to at least 200 and even, or as low as like 185, 180. I really don't want to be much smaller than that. Um, I really want to lose weight to help my face, to kind of get my face smaller, to help my arms, and of course, you know, just to kind of slim down everywhere. I don't want to be too small, though, so um, that's not my goal. Um, so where do we start? Um, told you about COVID-19, how it's definitely been a damper on my parade. I haven't been doing my normal intermittent fasting. Um, it's just everything that's going on in the world with uh, COVID-19 and now the riot um, it's definitely been a distraction for me um, I, I can't say about you guys but it's definitely been a distraction for me so um, hopefully the world is getting back to its normal pace of things and then I can get back to my normal routine as well so um, just wanted to answer a few questions that you guys may have I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions and I kind of referred you back to my previous videos because I am pretty detailed and things like that. Um, as for right now, um, I still swell some. I'm not much post op and different things I eat does make me swell. For example, I can't eat any Roman noodles or anything like that, cup of soup, nothing because it just makes me swell. I can't eat any sausage because it makes me swell. But those are things that of course are high in sodium. Um, I haven't been on a real strict diet lately, but I plan to get back on my intermittent fasting. A girlfriend of mine offered to um, teach me some keto. I don't know if I like keto because I love carbs, okay? I love carbs. So um, I think anything in moderation is good for you, but um, trying to stop cold turkey, I don't think that mentally I'll be able to keep up with that. And I don't want to start something that I can't finish, right? We want to start something, a healthy living lifestyle change that we can maintain. So, um, another update, I had planned to get uh, Lipo 360 in uh, this upcoming July with Dr. Sampson uh, in Miami. However, everybody that knows what I went through after my first surgery, um, I went to my primary care doctor uh, to get clearance for surgery and they said that um, she wanted me to see a hematologist just to confirm uh, my risk of getting blood clots. So I got a, a pulmonary embolism in my lungs uh, after my first surgery, and I assumed that it was because I took my tent holes off um, and I wasn't as mobile as I should. So um, I recently went to go see the hematologist. Um, they said that the clot was definitely due to the surgery. Um, they said that me taking my tent holes off, it probably, didn't affect the blood clot as much as I assumed it did. Um, the tent holes definitely worked, but the big factor was that. But the big factor was that with the surgery, I was not as mobile as I would have been. Um, I did have a lot of pain. I was in bed a lot. I thought I was walking, um, but I will say for the first couple of days, it was pretty hard. It was pretty hard to get up and move around, and you're definitely not moving around like you would normally move around. So. Um, anyway, so the doctor, the hematologist said he would um, allow me to have surgery again. As always, you know, I have my um, necrosis down here. 
That's what my pudge is. This is my fat necrosis. It's still here. It's not as prominent as it was before, but it's still here. They, they, they felt it. It's still hard. So I want the liposuction to kind of suction it down so I won't have this bulge. It just feels like a mommy pouch. It looks like a mommy pouch like what anybody else would have after having kids, but it's actually, it's still hard. It has gotten smaller, but it's still there. So they said that I could have a liposuction. They just recommended that I start prophylactic um, blood thinners prior to the surgery and then 14 days after the surgery. They suggest either the Lovenox injection or the Eliquis. Uh, just a prophylactic dose, a low dose uh, prior and after the surgery. So uh, that's what their suggestion was. I still don't know um, what I'm going to do yet. I might push the surgery day back for a couple of reasons. One, uh, flying right now. Um, two, um, I need to lose these extra pounds. In order for me to have surgery, my BMI has to be 37. And, and for me to have a BMI of 37, I need to be 210 pounds. So right now I'm about five or six pounds overweight, which is not much, but I really want to get down at least to the 200 mark um, prior to having surgery. So if I'm able to get down to 200 pounds, um, before my surgery date in July, then we will definitely go ahead and proceed with that. If I'm not able to get down to 200 pounds, I may push your surgery back. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I'll probably do a, a video next month update to kind of let you guys know what we end up doing. So, moving on. Um, today is, like I said, my nine month update. I think I, I'm pretty vigilant in asking you guys questions on YouTube. Um, you can check out my Instagram, the one and only Erica J. If you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. I have ladies reach out to me all the time, ask me, the biggest question do I get, do I recommend Dr. Michael Gray? And this is the only thing that I'm going to address again because I get it so frequently. Um, everybody's situation is different. It's this window where you want to have plastic surgery. You're healthy enough to have plastic surgery, but your BMI is too high. When your BMI is above 40, most doctors will not touch you, okay? You have some doctors that may do the surgery. Here in Houston, Texas, I went on at least five or six consultations before choosing Dr. Gray. The reason I chose Dr. Gray was a couple of things. All these doctors here were willing to do my surgery. Before I even went in for a consultation, I asked them if they have BMI restrictions, and they all told me no, okay? But when I went in to have the surgery consultation, I didn't see women who looked like me. I saw smaller people or people with a different shape. I wanted to see people who had the same shape as I did, big girls that looked like me, and to see their results, okay? So that was one factor. Every time I went to these doctors, I saw ladies and they had good work, but they didn't look like me. That was a big thing for me. No, that was number one. Dr. Gray, when you go on his page, you're going to see people who look like you and me on his page, and you're going to see their results. So that was a big, big thing for me. I love how he gives you the hourglass tub. You have a waist. Look at this. You know, you have a waist. Before, I wasn't, you know, I, I was just whoop, blue, you know. So I like this. I like this uh, silhouette look. I didn't want to be boxy, you know. So. That's one reason I chose Dr. Mark Gray. The other reason, the lowest quote that I got for a uh, tummy tuck was like a little over $11,000, okay? I don't know anybody's budget. I can't tell you what to do. Um, you can't put a price tag on your life. I will tell you that. So if you feel like eleven, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 is nothing to you and you want that doctor, go for it. Now, thousand, twelve thousand dollars here just for the tummy tuck and liposuction, okay? Dr. Michael Gray, I paid four thousand five hundred just for the tummy tuck and no liposuction. The liposuction will be the only thing that I regret. Um, I wish I would have got some liposuction done, but hindsight is twenty twenty, and everything happened for a reason, and so this is where I am right now. I can either get the lipo 360 or I can try to diet and exercise and lose these extra inches. Who knows what the future holds, right? Um, so, 
again, the cost was a factor. His work was a factor. Now, if you are smaller and you have a lower BMI, you have more options than I had. You have more options to go to different doctors that can do your tummy tuck and your liposuction at one time. I will tell you, if you can go to a doctor that can do your lipo and do your tummy tuck at one time, I definitely suggest that you do that because the end result will be you'll be looking good from the front, right? You'll look good from the front. You'll be like, okay, I'm kind of, you know, you know, you know, you know. But then this back, and then you'll have this back fat. And, and it's, it's not cute, ladies. It's not cute. And a lot of times, I'll feel like from the front, I love how I look. But then the back, it's like this back fat. It really kills my, kills my soul. So um, that's just my opinion. Everybody do whatever they feel is right. But if I could have got the, the tummy tuck and lipo suction at the same time, I would have done that. Um, it's hundreds of doctors out there. You have to pick the doctor that you feel comfortable with. Um, I feel comfortable with Dr. Michael Gray. Um, I would let him do uh, my liposuction again. If I was getting a lipo 360, I don't have a problem with that. Um, but Hey guys, um, so we're getting into the second part of our video. Um, I am going to do a clothing haul from Lovely Wholesale. I know a lot of you guys may have seen advertisements for Lovely Wholesale when you're scrolling on Facebook, Instagram, and all those things. So I decided to make a purchase. Um, right off the bat, I just want to let you guys know it has not been a great experience. Okay, so I ordered these clothes back in April. They just came in today. Today is June like the eighth or something like that. So almost two months before I got my clothes. Um, I the, the clothes prices are very cheap. Okay, so I did order about a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars worth of clothing, um, which is very cheap. So I'm not really expecting a lot from the clothes. Um, but I did want to do a clothing haul review on um, them just because everybody wants to know. I know you guys want to know just like I was like asking people have you ever ordered from this site and nobody really knew. Um, but I will say that I did email them several times in regards to my order and they did respond back. They said due to COVID-19 the shipping and everything was delayed and so that was their reasoning for um, that was the reason for my delayed package, but I did get it today. So I just want to share with you a couple of uh, items that I purchased. I will uh, put a picture of how it looks on the model up here, as well as the size that I ordered. And again, um, when you look, when you order clothes on their website, you really need to look at the the waist and the hips and things like that. They're in centimeters, but you can easily convert it to inches um, to see what size it is. So some things I got like 3X, and some things I got 2X or 1X or large. So all of the clothes, I think, come from different vendors, so you definitely look, need to look at the size. So without further ado, let's get into it, as my daughter said. Hey guys, so I decided it would be fun to enlist the help of Mr. Jordan. Um, I know you guys have missed him. Yeah, I ain't seen him in a while. So we got him here to kind of help rate the dresses. Um, so, or the clothes, should I say. So this is one of the first outfits I got from Lovely Wholesale. I'll step back so you can see it. So it's a maxi dress. You know, it's the summer. I just want to, if I could, I would wear maxi dresses every day um if i could so what do you have to say about this dress mr jordan i like that dress it's very sensual make me want to do some things but that's a nice dress i like that dress that's a good dress like for real um so yes you like the material yeah i like the material it, it's soft yes. you like the it's material soft. So I do like it. I did get this dress in a 2XL. I would say that I, I know um, it's really long. I know I'm short, so I'm 5'3". I'm so it is like literally pooling on the floor. I'm going to my aunt to hem it for me. Um, I probably should have got a smaller size also because of the, the straps here to hold your breast up. 
um, they don't have an adjustable um, uh, clip or anything. So I have to kind of pull it up and put a safety pin back here so that it can um, it can stay up. But I really like the dress. I'm going to keep it. I'm definitely not returning it because guess what? <laughs> Probably two months, months before I get a smaller size. So I definitely like it. It's very comfortable. It's very soft on my skin. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give the dress? Yeah, just about a 9. You give it a 9? Yeah, give it about a 9, though. I like the color scheme. You heard it from Mr. Jordan. Yeah. This is a 9. So, okay, guys, this is dress 2. Um, like I said, if I could do maxi dresses all summer, I would definitely do it. Um, this dress is an extra large. It's definitely fitting. I don't know if you can see it. So, what would you rate this dress, Mr. Jordan? Man, I'm kind of... I give this dress, I give this dress a 10. You give it a 10? I give this dress a 10. I love the colors. I don't know if you guys can see. It yeah. kind of goes down and at the bottom it's like light blue, dark blue, and purple. I have to get oh, a yeah. or something so you can see the bottom of it. It is not dried in the floor like the other dress. It's an extra large. Um, I don't have a bra. I probably put on like, um, a half bra or something to kind of help to kind of help but um i mean i like it if i could i would wear maxi dresses all summer long every day but stay tuned for the next outfit this is the next outfit it's just like a little shirt and pants just some everyday clothes. I thought it was cute. It says wifey to let them know I'm taking. So what do you think, Mr. Jordan? Now you know I can't even contest this one. Based on uh yeah, the commentary, the connotation. How can I not get this a ten? At first, a I know at first, and hey, she'll tell you, I didn't like it. At first, I didn't like it. But when she put the shirt on, I was like, oh, yeah. Cause if you guys are truckers like me, and if you got to spend the night somewhere, hey, man, you want your wife to represent like that. So, I like it. It's comfortable. Yeah. The material is very soft. I really like it. Like I said, this is a run to Walmart. Go to the grocery store. It's something that is comfortable and I can lounge with. I will say, I'm so far, the first three dresses, and well, two dresses in this outfit, I'm very impressed with Lovely Wholesale. Um, I'm going to post um, the cost, the prices of all these outfits, but I mean, it was really cheap. Let's see. So y'all can see me. So. Like I said, it's really comfortable. Something that you can wear every day. Got got pockets. So it fits. Yeah, it Show your curves. So So this next one is a no no. Let me tell you why. Let me back up. Now this is supposed to be a dress. Where I'm going? Where am I going, y'all? Oh no. <laughs> no, no. So I guess I should have went up a size with this one. It's really tight. You can see my waist train and my little pudge down here. What do you say, Mr. Jordan? Well, you said, where well, you going? Straight to the bedroom. And that's about it. <laughs> well, anyway, good thing I bought a second outfit and it had some lime green shorts. So let's see how it'll look with the lime green shorts. Okay, so I put the shorts on with it. I don't know. I don't I don't really think I'm feeling this. What do you think? Nah, I don't really cook for it. I mean unless you got the nine five Air Max Jordans or something, but I wouldn't mess with it. I don't know. What do y'all think? Okay guys, so this is the top that goes with the shorts that I did buy the lime green top. I like it. I like the little slits on the sides. You get a you get a little hip, a little hip going. 
so I like to split. The shorts are kind of big, as you can see. I got them all the way here, um, just so they can fit, cause they're 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 kind of big. But um, I mean, overall, this is a good casual outfit. If I'm going walking, going to the park, I just want stuff that I can be comfortable. So, um, what do you think about this one, Mr. Jordan? I already like that one. You don't like it? Just no. like every day outside? No. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. And I like Marilyn Monroe, but I just, you know, I don't. What I you don't like about it? It's just not, you know, it's it's an everyday thing for you, but I'm a man. I'm basing my opinion on sexiness, and to me, this don't make you look sexy. Right? I don't look sexy? No. The first three dresses, bam. I like that. But that right there, I mean, it's, you know, but that's good because you got to tone it down. But it's like, in my opinion, I, I would, like, if I went to the store and I bought something for you, I would not pick that up because I want something that's going to keep me focused on you. Well, if you don't like this one, he's probably not going to like the rest. But, no, but I mean, you know, so are you going to give it a number of one to ten? I get it about a four and a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious, man. You got some badass shit over here. And it's, just a four, it's just a shirt and top. I don't like that. I don't like that. I, like I can't wear this to Walmart with you. I mean, I'll try to save you, but. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Mr. Jordan say he does not like this. He gave this a four. I think it's comfortable. I like the colors. I just need that outfit. So if he didn't like the other one, he definitely not gonna like this one. Cause I personally don't really like this one. So um, I don't like the way the pants fit. It's just like too much black, too much black right here. Like I don't know if you can see it. And all my pants are pretty, pretty hot. Up. So I don't really like this one, but I don't know. It's just something to wear around the house, you know. All my clothes that I had before was really too big after the surgery, so I just needed everyday clothes just to wear around the house. This man, he want me to look sexy every day, just, just every day. So, <laughs> what do you think about this one? I actually like this. <laughs> what? Yeah. What and am I'm I gonna do with him? And I'm gonna tell you why. Why you like? Because it? I, this is equivalent. Turn face camera. This is equivalent to my animal jungle instincts. Oh. I love, I love the cheetah print. I just like man, this jaguar. You know what I'm saying? I, I like that. I think that's sexy. I, I like that. He you know likes that? this, but you he didn't like. See, I, I like. She like my little tiger lion princess. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> All this she cheetah said, print. I like that. I, I, like, I like cheetah print. Like it. I like Cheetah Prince. This man here. This I like Tiger Stripes too. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't win, guys. So I don't like this one, but he does. So. Hey, fellas, y'all might agree with me if y'all, you know, we, we like them soldiers. You know what I'm saying? The animalistic attraction. Well, I mean, it's everyday clothes, so it's that's why I got clothes. it. I just got. I pretty much got stuff that I can wear every day around the house, you know, going to the grocery store, stuff like that. I can't be sexy every day. And I like it. And he likes it. I like it. All yeah. right. Well, next outfit. Okay, guys. So I'm back with this red uh, jumpsuit. If you can see it. Hold on. I like it. It's like. Yeah, that's. That is Going for a run, about to work out. Yeah, right. I like the Adidas. That will be tight. It's coming through. So, I mean, I like it. The material is soft. You know, I'm not gonna really work out in this, but. It's, but you can if you I want. I said to. not. This is not a real workout outfit. I know it's not. So, like but it's cute. I like it, you know, I like the red, red turn head, so, um, let me know what y'all think about it. What do you think, Chris? So, I was just getting ready to say, you didn't ask me what I thought. Well, what do you think? I think this is great. I think 
this is a 10, and I'm going to tell you why. First is my favorite color, red. And second, look at this. It's like slippery when wet. And say, man, this, this is highly flammable right here. I like this. Red is a passionate color. And plus, you know, it looks nice, it's soft, and it's hugging the curves back here too. I like that. I, I like that. And this is this is real soft. You know. But I know you guys can't see in the camera and the bra, you can kind of see straight through. Well, I have Adidas sports bra on, so Yeah, now see. they can kind of see. It says Adidas. He just loves this. I have a lot of, I went to, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but out here in Houston, Burlington had a sale, 50% off of everything. I went and got so many sports bras, so many tights, so that I could actually do workouts in. I do like to wear my sports bras and tights working out, so. But anyway, he loves the well, I have several, so. Adidas, like Third War, any guy from Third War, we all wear Adidas. By the way, rest in peace, Big Floyd. Yes, rest in peace, uh, Floyd. Chris went to high school with Floyd, so. J.Y. Uh, Jack Yates High School. So, we don't want to get into that in this video, but we do respect and um, appreciate that, so. Anyway, so, Mr. Jordan gave this a 10. I gave that a 10. So, it was better than the dresses? It's not better than the dresses, but it's up there. That, that's that's like gonna be my top five. I can't know. We keeping this. <laughs> he said we keeping this, y'all. This is the last outfit. I do have a swimsuit to show you, but you can see the little girl. I really like this shirt. I got this shirt because I thought it was cute. Um, I didn't get these pants. These are tight. I got these from a store in the mall, like one of those jeans, like the the jogging tight stores that they have in the mall. Um, he loves these tights because they're shiny. Um, they have like a wet look to them. So I just tried them on with this shirt. I think this is a good everyday look. This shirt speaks volumes. Coronavirus, COVID-19, mask up. So this is our new normal. So. I really like the t-shirt, so what do you think? I like the t-shirt as well. I, I really like exactly. I got to echo them sentiments, what you said about the coronavirus. And, you know, you want everybody to be safe. I love the pants. I love the pants. We and know people don't love the pants. <laughs> yeah. I love so, the pants. Just get in here so you can see her. Our new normal. So this is what it is, COVID-19. So. Without further ado, um, I have one more thing from Lovely Wholesale, and it's a swimsuit. So you guys get to see me come out of this waist train there. Um, we're going to take it out, take it out, take it out. So y'all can see what I'm working with. Okay, so uh, stay tuned for that. So this is my swimsuit from Lovely Wholesale. So y'all can see me. So I'll back up so you can see it. Just like a tank. No waist trainer. Mm -hmm. But y'all can see. I like that. Look who's. He likes anything that has little cutouts on the side. So. so, what do you guys think? I mean, I like it. Oh, belly button update. This is my belly button for those of you that follow my journey. Now I have to get a belly button revision. I'm trying to get it so y'all can see it, but y'all probably see it. I just can't see it. Guys, before my tummy tuck, I could not do this. Like, I mean, I could, but I probably wouldn't look as good to me, you know, to each his own. Some of you guys love wearing your, hey, Nobody shaming me. If you love yourself, you love skin, you in, rock your two piece, hey, that's you. But for me, I feel more comfortable rocking a two piece, you know, with my tummy tuck. So, I mean, I still, y'all see, I still have some stomach, I still have love handles. Um, we not trying to get skinny. We, no, that's not. Yeah, so, 
We just trying to tone up, slim down. No, I like this. I like this. I you like, like the color? Yeah, I like the summer color blast, man. This 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 is real cool. It makes you want to go to the beach. Okay, if see. this corona won't let me be great, so, I got so many swimsuits. I can totally ready for the summer. Make you want to step up. So, I have some other swimsuits that I've picked up along the way. You guys just have to follow my Instagram page to see my swimsuits. But this is a haul from um, Lovely Wholesale. I have to say, open it up. It took two months for me to get my stuff, but it was definitely well worth the wait. What do you think? Well worth the wait. Because well I've been complaining about my clothes. Yeah, I was like, yeah. where are my clothes? Where are my clothes? But I spent like a hundred, maybe a hundred dollars, hundred and twenty dollars on all of these clothes. For the price, you can't beat it. Now, will they last forever? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Y'all pretty, I mean, I don't know how long they will last, but they feel comfortable. I don't know what they're going to do after I wash them or anything like that. But overall, I'm really pleased. If you need something just on the cheap for a one-time wear or just going to wear somewhere, fine. If they all tear up after a couple of days, I'm okay with that because they serve their purpose for the price. Does that make sense? Because where can you go get this much clothes for $100? Nowhere. So for the price of the clothes, I think it was it was a good investment. Um, it did take a while due to COVID-19, but I, I don't mind waiting uh, because I know the products are going to be pretty good. I don't have any complaints. The only thing I did is I got the wrong size for that one t-shirt dress. But, um, but they feel pretty good, and most times I think I can recognize cheap clothes. You know, you see like a lot of threads or something hanging out from the store. And then they don't feel this they good. Feel they really feel really soft. Yeah, yeah, they feel real soft. Like, you know, it's, it's, hey, I know the price is what it is, but it's a little bit of quality in there. Now, I can tell. He likes a soft feel of them. They have like yeah. a soft, everything feels Because cheap really stuff kind of cut you. I don't think it's, bit. none of this is probably even made out of like cotton. I don't know what the fabric is, but it feels really soft and smooth. Okay, so. This is my necrosis. It's here. It kind of go down to here, but it has a like a concave indent here. So this is it. It's what makes my stomach pudge at the bottom. I mean, but I'm living with it. It's smaller and smaller. Like it could be worse things, you know. It could be worse things. This is my nine month update. Um, I have gained a few pounds. I'm blaming it on Corona. I don't care. <laughs> um, this is definitely surgery. It's not weight loss. The weight can come back. It will come back. You just have to do what you have to do to maintain it. And it's a challenge every day because I love to eat. You know, I like food. I like that. That's my thing. So, um, but at the same time, I love my body. I love my results. And I don't ever want to go back to where I came from. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, um, give this video comments, let me know which outfit you like the best. If you didn't like one, hey, just let me know that too. If you agree with Mr. Jordan, hey. Um, oh yeah, Mr. Jordan has a um, sports channel. So oh. He has a new YouTube channel, so tell him your YouTube, so your husband can go and watch his channel. The Winner Circle. The Winner Circle. The Winner Circle Sports. Sports. So he has a sports channel on YouTube if you guys want to go. It's all about Houston H-Town sports we represent. And he also talks about other things that's going on in the world with different sports teams and things like that. So if you got a husband, man, boyfriend, son, tell him to go subscribe to his YouTube channel. And, and hit up the real Erica J. The real Erica J. Like, comment, subscribe uh -huh. to both our channels. Even if you don't watch sports, just go like and subscribe to his page. I like know? that. That's yeah, just go subscribe to the page. Just, you know, show support. Only. So, um, thank you guys for watching and...